Welcome everyone, my name is Patricio. In this CVT, I will demonstrate how to perform a clean installation of Windows Server 2012 R2. I will use VMware Workstation 14 Pro. I have been presented with three options, create new virtual machine, open a virtual machine, or connect to a remote server. In this video, I will choose create new virtual machine. I will select typical click next now we have to select the media this option is for a physical disk if you have a physical disk you can put them in your workstation and the virtual machine will boot up from it install disk image this is an ISO file that will be in your local hard drive I will select I will install the operating system later click next I will select Microsoft Windows. From the version drop down box, select Windows Server 2012. And then click Next. Now let's name our virtual machine. I will leave my virtual machine with the default name, which is Windows Server 2012. This is the, uh, the location. This is where we are going to save the virtual machine. We can edit this location later on. You can put them on a thumb drive, you can put them on a different hard disk on your workstation, or you can put them on a uh, network drive if, if it's allowed. Select it and then click next. We're going to leave the default. Now we have to specify the disk capacity. For the purpose of this video, we're going to select the default, which is a maximum of 60 gigs. Uh, and we're going to split the virtual disk into multiple files. The purpose of splitting the disk is to make the virtual machine in multiple little files, so it will be easy for us to move it if we want to move the virtual machine later on. But also, read the disadvantage. It might be loose performance, so uh, a store virtual disk in a single machine probably would be best, but also would be a bigger file. So. For this video, we're going to select a split virtual disk into a multiple files. So click next. Now, before we click finish, we are going to customize the hardware. So let's click on the customize hardware. On the left side panel, click memory and use the slide bar to select the amount of memory. Uh, two gigs already selected so that for me is fine uh, also you can change it right here I also will increase the number of processors to two again you can leave this as you like you can one is fine next we're gonna select where are we gonna boot up this machine from to begin the installation in this case we're going to select an ISO file if you again if we have a physical drive you can do a physical drive but if not then we are going to select a uh, ISO file and browse for the location look for the file select the file that you wish to install or the iOS image that you wish to install in this case will be Windows Server 2012 or 264 bit click open then click close Click finish. Now our virtual machine shows on left side panel label Windows Server 2012. That's the name that we gave the virtual machine. On the right hand side, you can see that we have all the uh, hardware, the virtual hardware that we choose. Memory for 2 gigs, number of processors 2, then the hard drive is 60 gigs, and the DVD with the location of our ISO file. Now all we gotta do is just power on the machine, and we can do it from here or here. Window will boot up from the ISO image. The first screen that appears is the language to install. In my case, I will leave it as English United States. Uh, time and currency format will be English United States. 
and keyboard or input method will be your asset. You can choose, you know, if you are not in the United States, then you have to choose your country or your language. Click next. Uh, type in your product key and click next. Now you have to select what type of installation do you want. In my case, I will select uh, server with GUI. Uh, server core installation is for a very uh, experienced users. This will install the necessary thing for the server and on a DOS mode. So there will be no Windows interface. So select the GUI, server with a GUI and click next. Accept the license agreement and then click next. Choose custom installation, Windows only, advanced. This is used for a new, for a brand new installation. So that means we do not have any existing operating system. Now, uh, asking where do, one, where do we want to install our operating system? Since we only have a 60 gig hard drive and that's the only drive on our virtual machine, we're just going to select that one and click next. The installation will continue and it will decompress the file, will copy all the necessary files and when it's finished, it will reboot and then it will continue the installation. I will pause the video and then come back in a few minutes. Okay, now Windows needs to be restored to continue. Now we have to create a password for our administrator account. When done, click finish. Now press Ctrl or Delete to log in. Type in the administrator password that we just create on the previous step. Hit enter. And now we are logged in to our server. For this video, I will set no to uh, network discovery. But you can say yes, it's up to you. You can, if it's your home or your office, then you can set this to yes. Server manager starts up and it's still loading. Now, if you click on the local server, you can see all those changes here. We have the computer name, the work group, uh, firewall, uh, the Ethernet zero, which is the network card for the uh, virtual machine, and it's IPv4 address assigned. Uh, let's change the uh, time zone and I'm going to select uh, Eastern Time and then click OK. A lot of the changes are done through the uh, Server Manager local server. And let's close Server Manager, let's close the other window and that concludes the video on how to install Windows Server 2012 R2. Thank you for watching.